my name is Yusuf Mardini. I'm 24 years old. I come from Damascus, Syria, and I live currently in Germany. I came to Germany in 2015 because of the war in Syria. I'm also a professional swimmer. I started swimming when I was three years old, and I competed at the Olympics twice in Rio 2016 with the first refugee Olympic team. Did you know that the first refugee Olympic team was created also in the end of 2015 by the International Olympic Committee? It was created to give refugees the chance to pursue their dreams as well and this team included 10 athletes from all around the world. Hey guys, it's me Erica and if you don't know me, it's nice to meet you. I played last season of CLC and I somehow managed to get to the finale and I made second place and I was the audience champion. Um, this time around was a little different. It was kind of weird playing as a catfish and it made it kind of hard to connect to people I found, but in the end, you still make some friendships and that's all that's worth it, honestly. Um, User was such an inspiring story that I wanted to carry out in this game. And I feel like I really did encompass her as best as I could, um, even though it's a little hard to get some things, but she just has such an inspiring story. And I wanted to make sure other people knew about her because she's just such a gem um connection wise i feel like i connected good with people i wasn't wanting to really put myself out there that much in this game because i know it can put a target on your back but somehow i still ended up at the top of the ratings almost every day and that was a little wild. I wanted to pull myself back, but it was a little hard after all of the chaos that happened in the middle of the game. Things kind of went quiet and it was a little weird. And then I just started talking again. But I really focused on making those genuine and authentic connections. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's something else I should add, but I don't know. You'll see, I guess. Hey guys, my name is Joanna and I was part of the duo Catfish uh, with Erica this season and we were here basically as best friends. I've known her for probably two years now. Uh, we met online and we've just connected. You may not have suspected we were playing as a duo because we talk pretty similar. Um, the admins were constantly getting us confused thinking that I was Erica or Erica was myself because we play each other very well. Um, use the same like grammar, talk, so on and so forth. Um, and we honestly bounce between chats constantly. One message would be Erica, the next message would be me, so on and so forth. Um, so we played together very well, I think. So a lot of you might not have realized that it was actually two people instead of one. But yeah, she's my best friend. I followed her here. She played last season and I was just here to be the strategic mind. Um, I play a little bit more cutthroat and strategic than Erica does. She plays a lot of times with her heart. God bless her soul. She's the sweetest person I've ever met in my entire life and is absolutely my best friend. Um, so uh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I was here just to be a little bit more strategic for her because, you know, last season she lost by one point. So we're here to get that crown, you know, and we're going all the way. We made it here. We made it this far. We really thought we were going to lay low. Um, I kept telling her like, we don't want to win influencer. Like we're not going to talk today. Don't you know we were still fucking influencer? Then I'm like, how? <laughs> like how? I think we've had it like four times without trying. So I'm just, I was confused constantly. Um, so apparently the connections we made were very strong. Um, I personally talked to Michelle a lot. Um, everything that we said is true. Um, I, my brother is the one who is a drug addict and we're currently working through that. Um, so yeah, all of that is true. Uh, Erica likes tea and coffee. I think I know she likes tea, matcha specifically. Um, I don't at all tea or coffee. Um, so talking with Madonna about that was hilarious. And um, Eric was like, I told her I like tea. And I was like, I don't think she caught it. <laughs> um, so that was probably our one mess up that we had this season. Besides that, uh, I think we did pretty well. And the admins were constantly confused about who was who. So um, yeah, I'm gonna pass you back over to Erica. Stuck with me again.
Um, so as you can see, that was my best friend, Joanna. She loyally supported me last season from afar, and she really just followed me into the server and has just made herself at home. So <laughs> I just knew that I had to get her to play, and we just decided that doing this as a duo catfish was the way to do it. Um, I tend to be more of an emotional player, and Joanna is definitely more strategic. Um, this time around, I feel like I was a little more evil than maybe I needed to be, but thanks to Joanna, she kept me grounded, and I really just felt like I wouldn't have done as well without her, so that was truly awesome to have my best friend and my brain with me. So I'll give you back to Joanna and she can finish this up. So all in all, I think it was a very great time playing with my best friend, Erica. Um, we played someone who is just like inspiring and powerful. I really wanted to play the Virgin Mary, but Erica was like, no. Um, also Helen Keller, Amelia Earhart, those were all ones I pitched, um, as well as the green M&M. So Harry wouldn't let the green M&M in, so I was kind of upset about that. But I normally come up with like the ridiculous ideas. Um, Erica had never seen the movie that our character is from. Um, well, not from. I, she's a real life person. Um, and this, there's a documentary on Netflix called The Swimmers that's about her. Uh, you should watch it. It's about two and a half hours and it's pretty good. So I watched it a couple months ago and then we were trying to find an iconic duo and I had pitched like Helen Keller, you know, Virgin Mary and Erica's like, no, we can't relate to them. And I was like, okay, this girl is 24. Like, we can relate to that. We might not be Olympic swimmers, but we're 24. Because Erica was like, we can't be a deaf and blind person like Helen Keller. Because what am I going to do? Be like, oh, I didn't see the backstab. Like, no, we can't do that. And, and people were playing the characters hard this season. Um, so, like, congrats to you, honestly. Because I don't think I could have played our character Yersa that well um so yeah it was very great meeting you all and playing with you guys and uh good luck to whoever wins and may the odds be ever in our favor thank you